Greetings and salutations, folks. My name is Nick, and welcome back to The Outer Worlds, where, once again, we are going to be temporarily distracted by side quests. In this case, we are trying to find the missing um, flavors of Spectrum Vodka that we don't happen to have on our person, like this bottle of Spectrum Vodka Blue. And where was the... Oh. Ah, there he is. Okay. Thank you for sta still standing there, despite the fact that I've already left the maze and handed off the bottle of Spectrum Original to somebody else. So that you could be there to let me know that I shouldn't head in that direction. In theory, there are also still Waspkitos uh, flying around this place. Ah, and there's some Spectrum Green. So what am I missing? I've got green, blue, yellow, black, orange, red. So I'm only missing two of the colors. Because there's a total of eight. So I'm probably missing Spectrum White. I'm probably not missing Spectrum Brown that because that hasn't been unveiled. And I'm probably not missing Spectrum Original because uh, there's only the one bottle and it's not in market. So let's see what the Purple Berry Nut Hut could help us out with. Ugh. The only place you can get Rizzo's ground-up, pound-up fruit drinks, made with mostly berries and twigs. Now I'd love to get you something, maybe a couple somethings. Whatever you like, I can sell it to you at a low, low price. You know, if it had um, if it was compromised entirely of berries and twigs, it's probably healthier than most of the things you can buy. In Halcyon. Um, Halcyon Helen was in the orchards before she died. Have you seen her? No, I'm sorry. The only celebrity who shopped recently is Black Hole Birdie. Quite the affable man, as it so happens. And the stories are wrong. He could probably lift two benches of toss ball players at once, not just one. Laws, not just affable, but virile, too. Ooh, wait a minute. Now that his bow's dead, that means Birdie's single. Maybe I'll strike up a little more than conversation the next time he comes by. For your first date, you should take him to see a Halcyon Helen movie. You do know Birdie's a suspect in Helen's murder investigation, right? Oh my! Birdie? A murderer? Well... Everyone has their flaws. I'll be sure not to bring it up on our first date. Have you sold any Spectrum from the storage warehouse shipment? Wow, what a strange question. I'm much too delighted to be suspicious. I sold lower level Spectrums to workers from RR&DD Labs, Hive Control, and the Conservatory. Jacob's predecessor also splurged briefly on a bottle beyond his pay grade, and Black Hole Birdie bought my most expensive Spectrum when he visited. I wish he'd bought more. Oh, if you're looking for your own Spectrum, remember that you can always buy from the Nut Hut or the Grand Colonial Bar, so long as you have the bits to back up your taste. Well, I only need to buy, uh, two bottles. I have the red... And... do I have the orange? I do, in fact, have the orange. Also, should I be trusting people who have, like... slugs coming out of their necks to be repairing my stuff. I mean, I guess as long as they don't get slugs on my armor. 
then then it's okay. Oh, is this going to take me just right back to the uh, Gatling? Uh... I probably should be coming back here later. But actually, if the bottle is just right over there... Ah, this is just Spectrum Vodka Violet. And what do we have here? We have... Spectrum Vodka Indigo. Is anybody watching? Just my party members. Okay, keep going. Alright. Now with all your spectrums combined. We will unlock the Gatling gun. Which, for some reason, has been locked by... The presence of multiple variants of Spectrum Vodka. Nope, not there. That's a window. I, I didn't know Rizzo's made a Gatling gun. Seems a might unnecessary. Seems unnecessary. But, let's try it out, or see if it's any good. That is a very low DPS, but this, that's the thing with all these science weapons. They're not particularly strong in damage. Like, that's uh, 70 damage, this is 150. They both use light ammo. Oh my. Okay. So that's the deal with that one. Is it has a really slow... Uh, startup. But... It, the, uh, once it starts building, its rapid fire becomes really absurd to the point in which it might actually be doing more deep uh, damage per second uh, over time so like if you're up if you're up close to like a really big enemy you could probably take like a really big tough primal down pretty quickly with that There we go. All right, let's see about turning in this quest uh, for the first for this part of the um, investigation. Ah, I can actually call out Norville for his terrible fiction. Well, well, well. If it isn't Lord Bellhop Alain Norville himself. What? Oh, Claus, you didn't find my story, did you? Sakes alive, that's embarrassing as all hell. I guess I should have hit it better. Well, since there's no way to put the leather boa back in the skinning machine, I might as well ask. What did you think? It was readable. I was able to read it without my eyes melting out of my head. I guess that's good. Maybe it'd be better for you to never write anything ever again. I would never say that. Um, as somebody who would like to be a writer, I would never tell somebody to never write. Regardless of how bad their writing is. Um... I would give them pointers and suggestions. I would try to point out areas that they're having problems, uh, things that they could do differently, but I would definitely not say to stop writing. Um, I did enjoy reading it, and I suppose here's the thing. It does fit, like, he, he, he basically wrote a self-grandiose fan fiction. Um self-inserted fan fiction um it was readable 
Both of these are true. This is a little bit out there. So I would probably pick one of these. Considering his he had a, he has an audience of one, I'm going to say it was extremely entertaining and I enjoyed reading it. Because I did. <laughs> and my old man said I never amount to anything. Move over, board announcement writer 256. Norville's coming for your job. Now, what can I lend a hand with? Uh, goodbye. Uh, hey there, my inordinately... Oh, <laughs> you're the one who visited me. Hello again. Thanks so much for brightening my day. Oh, no Who's problem. The floor can I bring you to? Uh, bring me to the penthouse suite. Next And that's the thing, like, if the only... Hey, Cap. Looks like they finally sent someone to clean up Helen's mess. At least I hope that's what he's here for. Oh, sweet shimmering law. Where'd you come from? Sorry, uh, let me just get back in character. Whoa, 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 it's... Not what it looks like. Give me one reason why I shouldn't kill you. Easy, friend. No need to get violent. There are as many reasons to spare my life as there are flavors in Rizzo's Spectrum Vodka. I'll give you two reasons. First, I am a valuable asset to the... Oh, Rizzo is Rangers this some, um... um enterprise. Black and Hole Birdie. I'm just here doing a job for a VIP. Mascot's honor. What kind of job? I am acting on behalf of Mr. Black Hole Birdie. The Holemeister, the hack attack. I don't have a lot of time, but Mr. Birdie sent me to retrieve a message. Something he recorded for Ms. Bellamy while he was off his kilter. Oh, I already have it. Did you find anything? Clothes, mostly. Couple tops, couple pants, couple pairs of socks. Didn't find a letter, and I'm trying real hard to stay positive about that. Will you meet me later, over at the pilot house? I swear, from the bottom of my employment contract, I will tell you everything I know about Ms. Bellamy's demise. Tell me what you know, or they'll have to rinse your remains out of that mascot outfit. I... what? But... I don't... I can't? You just tell me right now. Oh, don't hurt me. I'm sorry. I can't. Not here. I'm sorry. The pilot house complex. Meet me there, and I'll tell you everything, I swear. All right. Ah, he vaporized into nothing. All right, let's give a call to Administrator Ludovico. Ludovico. I understand there was an incident at the orchards. The pollination cycle began without my authorization. Fortunately, you managed to save most of the hive. The waspquitos are essential to the orchards, you see. Losing them would have cost us months of production. <laughs> And more than a few lives. That doesn't bother you? The orchards can be a dangerous place, but my workers understand the hazards. Something about this incident troubles me. The circumstances are... suspicious. But let's concentrate on the matter at hand. Have you discovered anything? <laughs> Reach for a cigarette. The plot thickens, Administrator. You have my attention. Uh, Dr. Blossom is dead, murdered by an unknown killer. That's deeply upsetting. Dr. Leora Blossom was an extraordinary scientist and a friend. We have a murderer on the loose, Inspector. As if the death of Halcyon Helen wasn't enough of a blow to our facility.
All I know is she recognized the killer. Interesting. The Rizzo's family is a small family, Inspector. Most of us recognize one another. Still, any information is good information. It troubles me to believe Leora could have been murdered by one of our own. If there's anything else you'd like to share, you have my attention. Um, Helen insisted on touring the Rizzo's RR and DD lab, which is a little bit, uh, what's the word, pedantic? Because Rizzo, RR and DD stands for Rizzo's Research and Development, um, I forgot what the other D stands for. So really what you're saying is touring the Rizzo's Rizzo's research and, but anyway. Insisted. That's interesting. We'd scheduled a tour of the lab for Helen. Purely a public relations event to be held sometime in the indeterminate future. And then again, Helen and I were not well acquainted. I can't speak to her intentions. Um, hmm. What were you going to show her during the tour? A uh, little of consequence. We'd tour the grounds, pause at some locations appropriate for a portrait, let her shake hands with our scientists, public relations. Uh, she spent a little time at the orchards. I found evidence she was at a picnic. A picnic? I don't recall approving a private social gathering at the orchards. I'll have to make a note of this information. Thank you for bringing this to my attention. Was there anything else? Uh, someone stole data from one of your terminals in research and development. Uh, that's troubling, to say the least. Any transfer of proprietary data is strictly prohibited without my permission. Um, you can't steal that much data without an expensive cartridge. Um, our thief had resources. A clever deduction, Inspector. That gives us a little information to work with. This happened just before the wasp keto attack. Someone was trying to stop me. Yes, I share your suspicions. Someone didn't want you following their trail. This feels like more than corporate espionage. Someone's playing with us, Inspector. And I have never in my life enjoyed games. Did you <laughs> discover anything else? I'll let you know if I learn anything else. This incident at the orchards must be connected to Helen's murder somehow. I don't know how, but I feel it in my marrow. My apologies, Inspector. This case is under your jurisdiction, not mine. I leave it in your hands. When you're ready, I suggest a word with the hotel coroner. She should have finished her autopsy by now. Um, hey, why was there a suspicious-looking mascot in my room? Why was there a suspicious-looking mascot in your room? I'm afraid I don't understand. Is this the lead up to a joke? Um, there was a Rizzo's mascot poking around in my room. I'd like to know why. I don't know why there was a mascot in your room. The Grand Colonial doesn't offer that kind of room service. I think. <laughs> It was a misunderstanding. I just want to know if you had anything to do with it. I most certainly did not. My policy toward Eridanos is one of, shall we say, benign negligence. I keep my distance and don't involve myself unless necessary. In any case, let me apologize for this unfortunate business. I'm sure this mascot meant no harm. I'll take your word for it. Was there anything else? Um, I'll be back. All right, what are we going to do first? The man who chafed. Let's see, or talk to the... Let's go talk to the mascot. Uh, he's going to be in... Way off to the east there.
Um, hotel guests, why are you running? Oh, it's probably because of these uh, hosts. All right, I suppose that makes sense while why uh the hotel guests are running away, but also notice those are all slug guards. Amelia Stillwell, did you let those slug guards get taken over by parasites? That seems like it's the bigger problem. Like, Halcyon's Helen's killer is bad, but... Uh, there are people whose brains are being occupied by slugs. And I don't know why a lot of people seem to not be paying attention to that. What else do we have that uses heavy ammo? Oh, I don't think I've tried that. The Medal of Honor. Look here. I could use a new pair of glasses. Can't imagine where you misplaced your old pair. Psst. Hey you. Come take a look. Okay. You look like you need some stuff. Fancy watch? Spare cufflink? Single earring. You want it, I've got it. Just one earring? Um, you doing okay? Me? Oh, sure. Terrific. Never better. And as soon as I pay off my docking fines, I'll be back on my feet and in my ship. Docking fines? So, it turns out Slug has some pretty strict rules on vehicle docking, and I may have broken a few of them. Who'd think Slug would be so strict? Um, can I help? You sure can. Buy some of my goods, and it'll count towards paying off my docking fines. And the delinquency fees that are accruing on top of them. I wonder, like, if you buy enough of her goods, does it actually count towards it? Like, I don't necessarily need any of these things. So I'm just gonna move on. Alright, now supposedly the mascot guy is going to meet me here. Though I haven't actually seen his face. Okay, these guys don't have slugs in their necks. But this is good to know. Oh, and he's dead. Discrepancy detected. Rizzo's company policy clearly states that all proprietary mascots must exhibit signs of physical life. Um, puncture wounds near his collarbone. I'm having trouble finding an accent wound. Excellent observation, Inspector. Have you deduced a possible cause of death? Um, firearms. Not a conventional weapon, either. Unusually small entry wounds indicate exotic weaponry. Closest approximations are 1. Incident involving a game of darts 2. The Needler The Needler? I believe somebody mentioned having that specific gun. Yes, Inspector. The Needler. The spoke handgun carried and wielded by Halcyon Helen. Famously deployed by Halcyon Helen in Terror on Monarch. This weapon was 
responsible for executing the Chief of the Savages, played by Spencer Woolridge. Amplifier, before we go, do you think he'd miss his outfit? This unit is incapable of providing ethical advice. This unit is also incapable of answering rhetorical questions. I'll take his things. It's potential evidence. Yeah. You glance over your shoulder to see if anyone's watching, then reach down and remove the mascot's gear. Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. This empty bottle of spirits does not belong to any known corporate brand. Suspicious residue detected. High concentration of ethanol. Someone's brewing moonshine with antiseptics. Excellent deduction, Inspector. Imbibing of unauthorized beverages is strictly prohibited under Rizzo's company law. Ingredients include antiseptic alcohol, sucrose, and unidentifiable miscellaneous organic material. Closest match. Counterfeit spirits available at the Piraeus spaceport. Ah, uh, okay, so that's going to be where uh, Birdie is. So did Black... Hmm. Did Black Hole Birdie do it? Ah, somebody I can chest the Medal of Honor gun on. That was pretty good, but... Nah, it's pretty good, but it's hard to tell the quality of the gun when the bad guy dies so quickly. Inspector, good to see you. Let me just grant you access and... Welcome to the Piraeus Spaceport. Oh, okay. I did not know I needed access. Or if I had to explain why I needed access. Faux windows. Adds beauty and verisimilitude to your frontier home. Because what's more important to society is the appearance of wealth. Hey, you! We've been looking for you, and by we, I mean slug. Been real busy sniffing around Eridanos for clues, haven't you, Inspector? See, Sluglight Underground don't like that much. Why? Sluglight? That's a new one. Should have kept your nose where it belonged, Inspector. Slug's sick of all your meddling in their affairs. Our affairs, I mean. We're... Draw, you damn breadworm! Draw! I'm an inspector. Sticking my nose where it doesn't belong is my job. Well, you ain't gonna stick that nose anywhere ever again. You're not really slug, are you? It's okay, you can tell me. Wooly piss! Why'd we decide to do this? Hey! Any chance we could reschedule? Yeah, maybe do this whole showdown business. Uh, never. Get out of here. I uh, don't need to tell us twice. Uh, come on, all. Let's get the hell out of here. <laughs> Ooh, dry goods and sundry. What a deal. Underground. Or slug. If I were the killer, I'd hide the body in one of those crates. No one would find it for years. Wait, your black hole birdie? I need to speak with you about. You look like a dork with that hat. That dorky hat of yours. What do you want? You're Black Hole Birdie, right? Shh, not so loud. 
How'd you know it was me? I'm an inspector, and a damn good one. Yeah, that makes sense. You must be a good one to sniff me out. I'm in no mood to sign autographs, and I hate disappointing fans. So I'm lying low. You know, incompleto. <laughs> um... Incognito. Oh, yeah, I guess it's kinda neato. <laughs> Oh, what's the matter? Helen's gone. She's gone and nothing I do will bring her back. I've been trying to find who did this. That's what she would do. Track down the killer and bring them to justice. But I'm stumped. And not very clever. Being bright was always Helen's thing. Um... I don't need you to be clever. Hmm... Maybe I can help. I was hired to solve Helen's murder. Oh, so you're the inspector. Hope you have more luck figuring things out than me. You probably want to ask me some questions, huh? I'm sure you're asking everybody questions so you can find Helen's killer. So, uh, how do I help? Um, let's see. Why don't you save us the time and trouble and confess? Uh, want to explain why you smashed up your picnic with Helen? Oh, the picnic. Right. I get real mad sometimes. Ugly mad. Something I've been working on, but when Helen said we were through, I... I lost it. You broke up. That must have been rough. Helen meant everything to me. I didn't take the split well. And now, I can never apologize. What did you do after the picnic? I got blotto with the other rangers. What? You know, soaked. Muddled. Preserved. Drunk is the medical term. The team noticed I was in a bad way when I got back to the hotel. When I told them Helen and I were Splitsville, they wanted to cheer me up. We were up the pole before evening. The hotel staff said we was bothering the other guests on account of all the crying and yelling and practice body tackling. Zeke said we should move elsewhere, get some air. Uh, where did you go? We ended up at the Wilderness Exploitation Reserve. I think somebody wanted to pet a woolly cow? There was this one cow off away from the others. Zeke figured it'd be a laugh to get her drunk. One thing led to another, and I think we might have maybe, you know, stolen her. You stole a cow? What do you steal a cow for? I don't know. We were drunk, and we made bad choices. She was all alone. I know how that feels now. It's so hard to be all by your lonesome. My memory's a little muddled after that. I guess me and the team got split up, because I know I was on my own at the pilot house for a time. Um, could anyone from the pilot house back that up? Mm, I reckon not. See, I went to the weather station. I was looking for where Helen stashed her data pad for safekeeping, right? She'd asked me to get it, mind. I wasn't stealing. I'm no thief. And did you find it? Sure did. Only there was a guard out there who found me. She started yelling about how I was trespassing and in serious trouble. Thing is, it was real dark out there. So dark, she couldn't tell who I was. Uh, what did you do? Long story short, I got out of there. Ran like the Rangers were down by three, and I just bronzed the toss ball in the Friday zone. I have no idea what that meant. Well, I know you weren't sprinting for the Sunday zone. Where do you go? I don't know where I was going, but my legs took me straight to my friends. I mean, to my 
fritz raider birdie bubba i'm your white knight come on man who was it i don't want to tell you i'll get in trouble Hmm, I don't think Parvati could be good like the bad inspector. Um, if you don't want to talk to good inspector, maybe bad inspector will change your mind. Ellie? You have no idea how <laughs> long I've wanted to do this. Listen up, Sprat fuck. You're in big trouble. I am? Hey, I'm asking the questions here. From now on, you don't talk until I tell you to. And when I do, you better sing like a terror ray. Terror rays can sing? When did this happen? <laughs> Wait, do they? Roll up your sleeves, lean on the table casually. You think you're our only source? While you've been here nursing your conscience, your friends have been talking. And it's not looking good for you, Birdie. If that even is your real name. I don't like this any more than you do, Bertie, but I can't stop her when she gets going. <laughs> you're going to tell us what we want to know, or you're going to find out what the inside of Tartarus looks like. Help me help you, Bertie. Tell us what we need to know. Okay, okay. I'll tell you everything. Just please don't make me talk to her. Look, I talked to Oric, okay? Oric West. Hangs out around the spaceport. He's the one who taught me the uh, breathing exercise ah. that I used to calm down. There is an achievement for asking one of my companions to play Bad Inspector. Excellent. Your bookie murderous confidant. Secret paramour with whom you're having a torrid affair? Confidant is like confidence. What's torrid mean? Who's Oric, Birdie? Don't get the wrong idea, okay? Oric's not a bad guy. He's just got an unusual job. So now you have the whole story. After I talked to Oric, I went back to the hotel. Woke up the next morning with Helen's data pad in my hand and the hangover to end all hangovers. Don't know if I'll ever drink again. Uh, let's see the data pad. Oh, yeah, you'll probably want to... Yeah, of course. Of course. <laughs> Helen sure did have the prettiest handwriting. I'm sorry about Helen, Bertie. Yeah. Yeah, me too. Sorry. Here you go, Inspector. Hopefully they make more sense to you. I couldn't make heads or tails of them. Either she was writing in code or I'm dumber than a bag of hammers. I tried for hours to crack her notes, but it's like I said. Being bright was Helen's thing. Uh... Thanks, I'll take a look at them. Okay. And listen, uh, I want to help you find our killer inspector. I knew Helen better than anybody. And it could be handy to have a guy like me around, in case anybody gives you trouble. Ah, uh, sorry, Bertie. It's better if you're not involved. I get it. I'll head back to the Grand Colonial, then. Unless you need me for anything else? Uh, no, you're free to go. Alright, but for now, let's go confirm... ...that alibi. Buy a bunk, huh? I think I'll stick to my cabin, thanks. With hey, Oric here. Over here. 
Hey there. You looking to unwind, friend? Maybe you're on your way to the bar for a good time? Maybe you're interested in something a little better than beer or Adreno? Something with a little more kick? Better than beer? This is impossible! Bold claim, I know. But I wouldn't lie to you, friend. The name's Auric. I deal in, shall we say, holistic pharmaceuticals, natural substances and the like. You know, alternative stuff. I know, I know. Ooh, it came out of the ground. That's where worms live. <laughs> I get it, I do. Why go for that homegrown shit when you could be pumping your body full of effort accelerators? Says it right on the anti Cleo's box. Better than nature, right? Well, I'm gonna let you in on a little secret, pal. Those pharmaceuticals the corporations manufacture? Not all of them are as good for you as the board wants you to believe. Really? Alternatives. That's the way to go, pal. Trust me. No matter what ails you, I got what you need. You know, I'd like to ask you some questions about Bertie Holcomb. Wait, you ain't a sheriff, right? You gotta tell me <laughs> if you're a sheriff. Um, let's see. I'm just a woman looking for answers. Uh, I'm a freelance inspector brought in to investigate the death of Halcyon Helen. I'll be honest, I don't really know where that puts us. Me neither, and I'm not going to arrest someone if I don't even know what if that's allowed. I'm not here to bring you any trouble, I just want to talk. I'm not here to bring you any trouble, I just want to talk. Alright, alright, fine. Yeah, I know, Birdie. So what? Um, was Birdie with you the night Halcyon Helen was killed? Yeah, damn shame about that. Birdie thought the world of Helen, you know. He showed up drunk at my place wanting to talk about the breakup. Helen dumped him, he said. Boy, was he in a bad way. I'd never seen him like that before. We talked for a while, and when he felt better, I sent him back to the hotel. Told him to drink more water and get some sleep. Um, heard you taught Bertie some breathing techniques. Yeah, that was me. Bertie's got a temper, but he's not a bad kid, you know? He's trying to work on it. Alright, that's all for now. All right, I guess let's uh, go back and report to the administrator again. All right, let's take the elevator up. Would you like to visit? Uh, bring me to the penthouse suite. All right, administrator. Inspector. I managed to track down Black Hole Birdie. I'm pleased to hear that. Bertie Holcomb is a valuable asset to the Rizzo's Ranger's property. When Helen was murdered, Bertie was nowhere to be found. The timing of his disappearance is unfortunate. Unfortunate is suspicious. Bertie's something of a character, but he's harmless. Even if he didn't kill Helen, Bertie's done some reckless things. Yeah, that's fair. Oh, dear Lord. Please tell me there wasn't another woolly cow involved. Let's see. Uh, okay, so you know about the cow. Yes, yes, I know about the woolly cow. Constable Keene had Bertie's teammates arrested for unauthorized inebriation of livestock. Bertie himself was nowhere to be found during the incident. Ironically, if Keen had arrested him, he'd have the perfect alibi. Be plain with me, Inspector. Do you believe Black Hole Birdie killed Helen? I really don't. He seems kind of like a... Like, the only way that Black Hole Birdie would have killed uh, Helen would be if we're talking about a... Um... What was the name of that movie? Uh, Unusual Suspect Situation. In which, like, the least likely person is the is the guy who did it. And I really don't think this guy did it. Uh, I'm relieved to hear that. I happen to be something of a fan of the hack attack. 
I'd hate to see him processed for murder, but we need to be absolutely sure. I'd like you to continue your investigation. Notify me as soon as you're ready to make a formal accusation. Uh, by the way, Bertie agreed to stay at the Grand Colonial. I appreciate that. I'd rather keep Bertie within the public eye than let him languish in a bar at the docks. If you're through investigating Bertie, I recommend looking into Cedric Tincannon. He's been entirely too comfortable since we began this investigation. I don't trust Cedric when he's comfortable. All right, I'll be back. Though I think I'm going to be putting this on for later. Got any suggestions for someone to play next? Leave them down in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and have yourselves a good night.